previously on Dance Moms. Every single one of you are going to be auditioning for a drop dead diva. Now take it from the top. I, I'm done. Our time at the Candy Apples may be drawing to a close. Melissa, I'm taking her over to the other competition and she's gonna do Cry. It's blatantly obvious that she brought a costume for Maddie and didn't bring one for Chloe or Nia or Paige. This is the that happened. We're bitter about the way the deck is constantly stacked. Coming up on Dance Moms, we are doing the routine about a vampire. Fighter! Hello? Hi, my name is Carol, and I'm the casting director for Drop the Diva. Fix this hair, because it's horrible. horrible. Don't you fix your hair and fix your face and your body and everything else. She makes sure that Maddie has the best choreography of You know it's true. Your kid is uncomfortable. Are you going to tattle on us? Yeah, I'm going to go tattle on you. Can you curl your toes? Holly is busy. She'll be here. Well, we went to Starbound. We proved that you are national champions once again. Your top overall junior group. All kids go. It's much, much, much more fun to win, ladies. All right, now, let's talk about this week. We are headed. Hi, everyone. Abby, can I talk to you? Jill, you know what? I'm right in the middle of the pyramid. You know how this works. I do know how it works. I made a mistake going to Candy Apples. You guys know that. Are you practicing it, your job? It was a mistake. And I would really like for you to find a spot for Kendall on this team like you did once before. Jill, I, I don't have time for this today. I understand I have that. Solos, I have a group. We have a competition this weekend. I want to be there with you. I, I think that Kendall can fit right in this group. She did it once before. She can do it again. I guess Candy Apples just didn't give Jill what she wanted. You know, a starring role in every number, a featured spot, a special part. So here she is, hop, 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 hopping, right back to the Abby Lee Dance Company. You are off your rocker. All I want is what's best for Kendall. Hey, I wanted what was best for Kendall, and you didn't give me time to do that. I know I made a you mistake. The reason I did this. And go home right now. Is that, would that make you guys all really happy? No, that would not make me happy. Are you gonna turn my child away knowing she's got talent and she belongs in this group? I'm in the middle of a rehearsal. Right, you know what, rehearse. I cannot I'm believe not, this. I'm not gonna I am there. literally I'm speechless. Fine. Jill came in with a hot new hairdo and a whole new wardrobe, but it's still the same old Jill. You know what, Abby? Here, you hold your picture. She deserves to be on that pyramid. Who walks into Pyramid right in the middle and just shoves their kid in there? I think it's totally desperate. Girls! You go on. Girls! This is not about friends. You want to see Kendall? Invite her to your house. This is my business. Can you find it in your heart to allow Kendall Jill, to be a part Jill, of this team? I will be glad to talk to you at a later date. OK. I am furious with Jill. How she thinks she's going to walk back in here and get this kid back on the team, but it's not this girl's fault. She's a great dancer. Let her rehearse, stick her on the end. It's not a big deal. Now, we're going to Star Power in Lancaster. Not very far, but a big competition. Lots of people from New Jersey and the New York area will be in attendance. It's a really big deal. They entered 50, 60 numbers. We're going with one group. Moving on to the pyramid. On the bottom of the pyramid, Mackenzie. When things are done in a contagion, and you do it first, and then Paige, and then Nia, when you do it so fast, you make Paige and Nia look like they're off, like they're the ones that are wrong. Next, Nia. The aerial walkover got you into trouble. Don't let it happen again. You need to slow down. Paige, you really didn't do anything wrong, but you're part of the trio, so you have to take responsibility for it. Chloe, Chloe, it was good, but you get into those categories with 11 and 12 year olds and you never get up there where I think you belong. Next, I have Brooke. Brooke, you did a great job, 
Your technique was clean from where I was sitting. I thought your facial expressions were wonderful. I thought you were outstanding. And on top of the pyramid, Maddie, you went out there at 9 to 12, and you won at 9 years old. Maddie wins all the time. And it's not that we're jealous of Maddie's victories. I would never rub Chloe's victories in anyone else's faces. If anything, I try to downplay any kind of success Chloe has because you don't want to create any kind of animosity and tension between these girls. Maddie, you will be doing a solo this week entitled, I Can't Find the Words. Paige, you also have a solo this weekend. <laughs> Your music is entitled Creme de la Creme. Paige is getting a solo this week, and I'm very excited because I thought after I changed her last solo that it would be a while before Paige got another one. Mia, you have a solo this weekend. The music is entitled Working Girl by Laquifa. I would like to see Nia move back up the pyramid, and this Laquifa number has Nia written all over it. Ladies, we will be performing a group routine about a vampire. So I will be bringing a boy. I think boys are icky. Icky, 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 icky. <laughs> so moms, you are dismissed. We have a lot of work to do. Hey, Nick, come on in. When you do partner work, it's very important that you're comfortable with your partner, that you trust. That makes Nick's job a whole lot easier. These girls trust him. Nick, you know why you're here? Huh? To lift. All right, at five, six, run, Maddie, you're going this way. I'm so excited that Nick's in our group dance and he's playing the vampire and we're in a trance and everybody's telling us he's bad, don't like him, but we can't help it. I'm laughing at my hair. I, I love your hair. I, I actually yeah. think that you I look think it looks really cute. young. When you first walked in the door, I'm like, oh my God, is that Kathy? And I'm Ew. sorry. <laughs> I might you know have she's guts, gonna... girlfriend. I know, but she wouldn't let me put her picture on the pyramid. I... As she should. Ah! I'm just saying. I thought she'd be like, yeah, put her at the really? bottom. Did you seriously think that walking in the door and saying to Abby, put her in the group would work out in your favor? Because that's unexpected to me. She wouldn't talk to me. I said, we, can, we, can we talk? What's there to talk about? She's dancing. Jill keeps saying that she wants Kendall to have an opportunity. Kendall did have an opportunity. She auditioned for our company. She made it. And Jill blew her top and left. Top ball, changely, sod Russian. I need time to think about this. Jill took Kendall to another studio, my arch rival in Ohio. Big mistake. Now she thinks, I'm just going to show up. She's going to put us back on the team. Wrong. I I'm hoping that you can understand. I do understand because why I, I left, I couldn't tolerate But I have no. to tell you, when I saw your daughter do her solo a couple weeks ago, I was so disappointed in the choreography. No. Jill is back for five minutes, and already Melissa is best friends with her again. I don't think there's anything honest about Jill. Now she even lies about her hair color. Not that I ever would. You know what, Kendall? Time has come. You're finished for the night. I have a lot of thinking to do. Understood? Oh, no. Well, she's not crying. I don't have time to deal with Jill. I have to worry about this group number. It's an amazing number. I intend to win at Star Power. One, two. Give me a little, like, a half a head roll, like that. Creme de la creme is real dancing. There's no cutesy stuff. It is full-on difficult. I don't want any other mommyography in my numbers. Paige needs to learn to do what she was given. Tilt, pitch. Can we talk now? Well, I'm right in the middle of pages. I know private. how busy you are. Wait, 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 wait. Jill, stand right over there. I'm gonna let her do it again, and I will dismiss her, and I can talk to you. Come on, Paige. Paige finally got a solo and a proper rehearsal, and Jill comes busting in the room during her private. It's ridiculous. I don't know how Kathy does it, but we keep working, 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 working. And, th and that's what I want for my kid, and I need to know, Abby, are you gonna let Kendall come back in this group? Well, you didn't sign anything. You didn't tell anybody you were here. I think coming into the room 
was really inappropriate. I, I didn't have any choice, and I thought you would understand that. I don't want to invest my energy into your kid to have it walk out the door in six months because mommy's not happy. Joe has a whole lot of groveling to do and a whole lot of paperwork to sign before this kid is back on any team at the Abbey Lee Dance Company. Hey, let's go, Paige. Smaller steps. Woo One, two, three. Woo Ready? The working girl number for Nia is kind of about her mother, Dr. Holly. We all know that she is the original working girl. You know, no one ever had a job and raised any kids before her. You're making the ball. No. Oh, Nia! I keep talking about stepping out on that stage, doing the walk, and it's that entrance. Right, left, right ball change. Hello. Holly, what's been going on? You are never going to believe who uh, came into Pyramid today. I'll yes. give you three guesses. Jill? Yes! What's she doing to Pyramid? And she had her 900 voice That's on. what I said. But wait, no, oh. even better? She got Kelly's haircut, and it's blonde. <laughs> My color. Oh, I got it. Truth be told, I didn't like last year's La Crifa dance, it was not a signature dance that I was really proud of Nia performing. And Nia didn't do well with it last year. And you're stepping and finishing the turn, and you're really running in and finishing the turn. Yeah. Hello? Hi, my name is Carol, and I'm the casting director for Drop Dead Diva. The girls auditioned for a role on Drop Dead Diva. I've been anxiously awaiting this call. Hi, how are you? Just wanted to let you know that after watching all of the auditions, we have decided that we are going to go with... Hello? Hi, my name is Carol, and I'm the casting director for Drop the Diva. Hi, how are you? Well, I just wanted to let you know that after watching all of the auditions, for the role of young Deb. We have decided that we are going to go with Maddie. She did a great, great reading. Her dance was beautiful, and we thought that she was great, and we decided to go with her. Something's going on. No, they just said Maddie got dropped at Diva. How do you know? Because the kids just told me. Oh. All right, super. Thank you so much. And isn't it funny how they wanted a blonde, and she's the only one that auditioned that wasn't a blonde. And isn't it funny? But I'm pretty sure that Maddie had that part before she even auditioned for it. Thank you. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. OK. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah! Are you excited? I think all the other girls know that it's not a level playing field. So it's no big surprise when Maddie gets chosen for parts. I think the girls are used to it, but they shouldn't have to be. I know how things like this work. It is political, and a minority has someone's name on it. I don't even know why they have our kids audition for things. It's a real well, part. So it's... we just auditioned for the show because Maddie was slated for that part before she ever opened her mouth. I always said that that role had someone's name on it. And in my mind, that child was Maddie. Go tell your mom you got the job. Woohoo! The part goes to Maddie. Is Maddie the best? Who knows? It's not about being the best. It's about being right for the part. Good job, honey. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Excited? It's not fair to Maddie. When she gets a job, I want her to be excited. If any of the other girls got it, all the moms would be jumping and screaming and hipping and hollering, but when it's my daughter, they get jealous. Honey, I'm excited for you. Thanks. I'm sure all of your team members are excited, too, for you. When Miss Abby announced that I got the part, I was just smiling, and I tried to stay as humble as I could because I didn't want to have my other friends feel bad. Well, I'm proud of you, honey. Go back into class. Good job. Congratulations. I just wish that things were fair and even. Abby absolutely 100% made sure that Maddie was going to get that role come hell or high water. Whoa, I see some bad feet sitting right there. Stop with the hair. It keeps on falling out. Why? 
Because you have too much hair. Posture. You say Go. you've lost your faith. There's nothing more. Biter. I need to put my best foot forward at Star Power. I'm going to pull out a winning number. It's about a vampire and little girls that are dreaming of Mr. Right. The number is really cool. Let him bite you. It's OK if you're late. He's really holding on to that arm. Girls, just make sure you're over there. Abby, I'm going to send her in rehearsal. I wasn't sure what time it was. So she's here. Go ahead, baby. Oh, she's shoving oh. her in again. Look at her. Oh, there's Jill. She's like a different person. That's she's in the witness protection program. She's trying to escape Kathy. I think I like it the other color better. Jill, when I left here last night, I had two more meetings. You're the one who said this is where okay, she you know belongs. What? You, you're interrupting rehearsal. I told you last night. It's inappropriate. I don't do it to you. I want you out the door. Go. It's ridiculous. You need some control over your mother. Yes? I am much more concerned with the choreography in this routine than I am with Jill and Kendall. I need to get back into rehearsal and make sure that this routine is ready to go to star power. Why is she screaming? I didn't know what time rehearsal was. And what did right. she say? She said, get out of here. To you? Mm -hmm. She's the one that made you quit to begin with. Your mother's actions throwing a shoe in Texas is why she pulled you out of the studio. Despite Abby's behavior, I still want Kendall on this team. I want her to have these opportunities and to dance every week at these competitions. You didn't want to leave. Now you just want to waltz right back in? Kendall, it doesn't work like that. Abby has made it very clear that she likes Kendall, yet she doesn't like Jill. I'm thinking maybe Abby will let Kendall back on the team just to piss Kathy off, just because she hates Candy Apple so much. Try to pick it up. Get in line. This is ridiculous. Get out of the way, Kendall! We're still rehearsing the routine with Nick and six girls. Mackenzie was not appropriate no. for this, certainly. So I let her go. Take your belly out of here. Go to tap. But I have Kendall, who I'm trying to ignore, but I can't ignore. And then I also have Paige and Nia, who are a beat behind, especially Nia. I'm going to cut some people. What do you think, Jonah? I think I would do it smaller. Smaller? I just feel like Nick's part is getting lost because there's so much chaos going on. I need to cut of this routine down to three girls and a boy. I'm going to watch each girl in rehearsal and then make my final decision at the competition. Hey, Nia, I'm really on the border with you. I want you to concentrate on your solo. Yes, and you have to do something with that hair. It's not appropriate. Every time I look at you, it's like fun. It's routine that they don't get picked for necessarily for a trio or a duet. But now, there's a possibility that they will not be picked for group numbers. You got to be kidding me. Paige, I, I know you're a really nice little girl. You're teaching Kendall the number. What happens if I put her in instead of you? Are you going to feel bad? What if she ends up doing it better than you? Just saying. Just saying. That knee. We finish? We're good? You think that's it? Okay. I've called everybody together to discuss the drop dead diva part. These mothers go on and on about role models. Well, I'll tell you what, not being happy for someone else's success, that's the worst role model you could be. I wanted to talk a little bit about yesterday the role for drop dead diva. I don't know if everybody was truly happy that. Maddie got the role. It could have been any one of the kids that auditioned for it. We all congratulated I Maddie. I think they the yeah, The sure girls all congr congratulated Maddie. I don't know what else you want us to do. Irony of ironies, Abby wants to reprimand all of us for not being happy enough for Maddie getting the role on Drop Dead Diva. I wanted to look at her and say, really, Ab? Because you didn't seem very happy when Chloe got, I don't know, the music video, the Joffrey audition, or first place when, you know, you ran out of the room crying because you were mortified. Well, Melissa told me that you said it was rigged. I'm entitled to my opinion because I'm 42 years old and I'm a free American citizen, so I get to say whatever I want and believe whatever I want. I stand on my credentials and my knowledge. That's fine. That's something you can never take away. Then fix this hair, because it's horrible. And why don't you fix your hair and fix your face and your body and everything else. And That's right? fine. When I join your dance company, I'll do Let's it. Let's start critiquing people. Let's start with you. Look in the mirror. Polly had to go after me, you know, go for the jugular. 
Look in the mirror and fix your own body, fix your own hair. Holly, let's start. Get a padded bra. Don't wear dresses. What else do you want me to tell you, huh? And you know what? I got approval for those braids when I got them put in. Not in from my dance company, didn't it? Yes, it says I right did. Yes, do I not did. change your hair. And oh. you know what? I did get approval for it, and this is part of her ethnicity. Well, it's weighing her down. It's Ethnic weighing dancing. her down. There are four when other she, people when here. When you made the, the last three weeks, Holly, it's like a log coming out of the side That's of her eye. And on all this, Nia, the lunge, the arch, all of that stuff is late and sloppy. Your mother thinks you're early. You're not. Enough is enough. If you want to fix someone up, and if you're such like a miss fix it, fix yourself. Look in the mirror. Start with the woman in the mirror and leave my kid alone. Ankle flat back, side and up, and then reverse it. Just for each five, six, seven, eight. We're two days away from the competition, and favorite? I've got my hands full. I have the solo rehearsals, and I still haven't decided who is going to be in the group number and who isn't. Contestant number blank entered in the title division. This week, I have a lyrical solo called I Can't Find the Words, and I'm very excited for it because I have to write a love note. But I know over here, there's some slamming, angry, boom, you go back, da, 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 da. that should be angry and mad and frustrated. It's basically just saying that she loves someone, but she doesn't know how to find the words to write it down. So it's a really beautiful number. I need to see that big beaming smile. The same big smile I need to see if you win. Beaming, happy. I don't want Maddie to be affected by all this drop dead diva drama. I get you to make this bigger. The truth is, just bigger. Yes, thank you. Jealousy and success go hand in hand. Maddie needs to get used to it because she's going to be successful. I need the girls to come in. I need everybody to come in, but I need you to get your crowns and get them on that table. I even had to bring her crowns in because I want her to realize that this is something to be proud of. It's a huge accomplishment. And Star Power is proud of her. She is a little star right now. She's the winner. Own it. Be proud. Rub it in their faces if you have to. This is a piece of metal and two combs and some rhinestones. This does not make you a winner. What was she saying? How many crowns have you won? Oh. Right, this but is let, the best. Let me bring these and rub them in your face. Exactly. These are recent. This is Petite Mistance. That was a toughie. But once again, you can't win a crown if you're never set to go. Starbound. Ooh, that's pretty. Energy. And Maddie still wins just because she has better choreography, and Abby makes sure of that. Every week, she makes sure that Maddie has the best choreography out of this group. And you can sit here and get mad at me, but you know it's true. There's no question. Yeah, oh, running out of room. I didn't want to show all the crowns to the girls, but I followed the rules and I did it. But then the moms kind of got mad, and I didn't like that at all. But Melissa, why would you bring them? She told me to, and well, they called she me the morning. Bring them, say, no, my daughter's uncomfortable. She is doing uncomfortable. this in front of her friend. Your kid is uncomfortable. But you're getting them out now, Melissa. They already did it. I'm not getting them out. Are you going to tattle on us? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go tattle on you. I, I wouldn't be surprised. You need to get these set up so that you put a sticker on the back of these. Girls, hey. I just want to tell you, I don't want you to think that Maddie's doing this to make you feel bad. Ad Maddie was instructed to do this, and I see your faces, and I feel really bad. I'm sick of hearing it. And you are taking her successes, and you're squashing them down. She has a right to jump up and scream and yell and be excited. It's ridiculous. If you want a crown, work for it. What happened, Melissa? What did she say to you? We, she never gets excited. I'm, you know, we squash every victory because, you know, we don't want people to hate her or this, people to hate me. We tell Abby, kiss my ass. I'm not bringing them in. It's rude. We deal with it every I week. Know. We realize that our it kids is. aren't stupid. They realize it. All right, are we ready? We're going to run it with everybody together. Star Power in Lancaster. The competition is huge. Tons of numbers, tons of studios, tons of talent. I think I've made my decision about the group dance casting, but I'm gonna keep that my own little secret. What's wrong? My stomach hurts. Why are you always crying? 
Get your stomach hurts. Let's get you some medicine. Don't cry about it. Jill is just desperate. You know, I don't get the whole I made a mistake, I want to come back thing. No, Jill. Kendall's not on the team. Jill, what is wrong with her? I'm sorry, I really don't know. Maybe she's like, why am I here if I'm not in the dance? Well, maybe. We don't know if some of the real team members are even at the dance at this point. Why would Kendall be in it? Why wouldn't they all be in it? Because it's my routine, and I happen to like it a certain way, and that's it. You can't respect that, that she wants to be here, and she oh, no, wants I to do. dance. no, I do, I do respect that. Well, then let her dance, Abby. Abby wants to teach Kendall and I a lesson, that we have to earn our spot back. Kendall still has all that fire in her belly and all that potential, and I need Abby to see that again. You're here as a guest, so I don't need some whining, crying kid. Yes? Man up. Can you work on some of this with the case in your hand? I'm a little worried about the case. Clock that case looks good, Holly. Nia, I mean, you did it. You're <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I just corrected that. Mia is practicing her solo, and all of a sudden, I see out of the corner of my eye, she just stops and she freezes. And I'm like, oh no. What, 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 what's wrong? I forgot my number. I'm like, no. Just Maybe because the music's not on. <laughs> no, that is not true. Get that out of your head. You know the dance, you did the dance several times. Suck it up, put your game face on, you know the dance. Good mom. Don't cuddle. Take a deep breath. Take a breath. When Miss Abby is rehearsing my solo in the dressing room, I got freaked out because I almost forgot a part. I really want to be in the group dance, but if I mess up my solo, I'm not going to be in the group dance. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice Lancaster welcome for working girl, Nia. sitting in the audience. I know Nia just forgot the dance, and I'm a basket case. scared. She came out with a bang, and she never let up till the death drop. <laughs> My child got a standing ovation. That never happens at a dance competition. I am a proud mama. Judges, your next act's gonna be entry number 138. Please help me welcome to the Star Power stage, Maddie performing I Can't Find the Words.
single correction I made in her private lesson. She remembered her number. It was good. She hit everything. If she wants a private from now on, I'm going to give them to her. competing against each other, and I wish we weren't, because we're all good friends. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in one of our toughest 9 to 11 categories we've seen in a long time, here's our top 10 power division. The last time Nia did Laquifa, the judges didn't care for it so much. But she's maturing, and that bundle of energy was there. Ninth place regional champion and the fiercest attitude special award goes to Nia number 109. Although this week was filled with anxiety and turmoil with the group dance, the solo performance for Nia was a high point of my Ivy Lee dance experience. I'm so proud of my little girl. Sixth place regional champion. Page number 139A. This competition was very difficult. Even to place in the top 10 was an accomplishment. This is amazing. Only three tenths of a point separated first from second. I'm really happy with my solo performance, but the competition's really hard, and I hope it was good enough. And now, ladies and gentlemen, by only three tenths of a point, your highest scoring 9 to 11 soloist here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania will be. Maddie won the high score top 10. She was it. She won it again. Way to go. Congratulations. Name your studio. Abby Lee Dance Company. I wanted every single one of my solo entries to place in the top 10, and they did. Job. Can I have a bow or no? We're not doing that yet. No, 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 no. In fact, Kendall, who gave you the bow in your hair? The girls are going to be wearing white bows in their hair for this group routine, but I haven't told anybody who's in the group routine yet. So why on earth does Kendall have a white bow in her hair and nobody else does? Jill, who gave you that bow? A junior Miss Star Power contestant. 114 will be next judge. Is number 114. Kendall, who gave you the bow in your hair? Kids should not go and take things that don't belong she to them. She didn't take it. Melissa said, here are bows for everybody. I picked one up and I put it in her hair. OK, well, newsflash. Melissa doesn't own the studio. You have to accuse me of stealing a $2 bow? Are you kidding me? She just grabbed it and stuck it in her kid's head, thinking, my kid's going to get a bow because my kid's doing this group dance. You talk about manners with the kids all the time. Wait a minute. That is rude of you to say in front of my child that I would steal a bow. Every single one of these kids has their hair done, and nobody has a bow in their head. I don't steal from anybody, and not one of those moms stands up for me again. You wasted a whole lot of my time. I don't have time for it. I've had enough of Jill's nonsense distracting me from my real focus. This routine is important to me because I want to win at Star Power. Let's see Paige, Brooke, and Nick. Let's go. I want to see your standing back tuck. Oh, easy. Oh, I'll do mine too. Ready? No, do not do your standing back. Can I try it, Sally? No, this is cement underneath this carpeting. Paige, Paige, can you not do it? Well, then do it and let's go. I want to eat my lunch. You better do it. Paige hurts her foot. I just can't win. Can you curl your toes? Did you come down on it this way or digging it? Digging. Digging it. Paige is really upset about her foot. I'm surprised she's not crying. OK, well, don't taper. You're not in the dance. You got to get the foot checked. Paige could have been in that group. But you know what? I can't risk her injuring herself any further. All right, we have Paige out by default with an injury. It's my hope that if Paige can't dance with these kids, Abby's going to need Kendall. Nia, you are not in the number today. Don't make a big deal out of it. You did a great job in your solo. I couldn't be prouder. Kendall, you are not in the dance. 
Abby, I'm just curious. Do you do you enjoy watching this right here? Does that make you happy? Jill, if anybody should dance, it should be Mia. This is between us. We have had a wonderful day. I hope you're really happy, Abby. I think Jill is from the me, myself, and I generation. She is only concerned with herself. All right, let me see. Brooke, Chloe, Maddie, and Nick. Frantic! Frantic! I am a boy and three girls. I got my routine. You need to look comfortable with him. Some of it still looks awkward. We're gonna go back to entry number 241, Power Division Contemporary, age 9 to 11. Please help me welcome to the Star Power stage number 241. <laughs> I think he adds so much dimension and character as each one he partnered, he showcased them. And that's what a good partner does. It showcases the girl. performance, I made the right decision with one boy and three girls. 9-11, small group, third place, Hey You, Studio Blue, 251. Second place, Prayer of the Children, 263 from Studio Blue. And now, in our 9-11 small group, your top score, the champion today will be Congratulations, girls and guy. Our group dance, once again, number one. What's the name of your studio, guy? I really dance company. Top 10, take it down. Let's hear it for the top 10. We did it. I couldn't be more grateful. I think all of our victories were really earned and very well deserved. Once again, I think I proved I was right. Jill, nothing to say? No last remarks? Not really. Bottom line, Abby's dancers won. And that is exactly why I need my daughter to be at Abby Lee Miller's dance company. You stick a bow in your kid's hair and think they're gonna go on stage and be in a competition number? It's not why I put the bow in her hair. It's Abby. just not that easy. I know what I'm doing. When the time is right, well, how about then you let me know? I won't be back until you let me know when the time is right. I told you before oh, that I would think about it. Did you shush me? Yes, I did. When the time is right for you, if we're still available, you contact me and you say, okay, I would like for Kendall to be a student. No, I don't call students. Stu I don't okay, solicit then, students. I don't, then what do you want? Abby knew all along that she was not going to allow Kendall to dance in that group number. I realized that Abby is a punisher, and she punished Kendall and I. What you say goes, you don't care about the kids. You don't care about anybody but yourself. That's terrible. Why would I be in this business if I didn't care about their futures? Well, then why don't you You're care the about one that one? screwed her up. If you think that I you know am the dance I really studio, want you to be quiet. I don't care what you think. You know what? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are hurting a little child? You people all suck. Every one of you. You're being insane! I'm insane? Melissa's the only one who ever comes to her aid. What is oh, wrong I'm with you people? This. They have learned from Abby, the biggest bully in the block, and now they're bullying too. This, this is, is gonna cost me a lot of money in therapy. This is not Because she's embarrassed, she's mortified. She's humiliated. Mind. 
I think Joe is having a midlife crisis. Kendall should come to class. She they did. starts in class, Jill. Abby's acting like a total immature baby. And I'm not going to let this happen again to my child and I. She's just sick. I can't believe I'm sitting here and that woman walked out again. 